think we're good to go. Right, ladies and gents, welcome to the video. So, yes, it's been a time since, or been a while since I've been uh, on the channel uh, doing any kind of recordings or videos or, or videos or what have you. Um, yes, it's been a long time because I'm struggling to use the camera. Um, so, yeah, a little bit difficult. Anyway, what I want to do is start off on a bit of a new build uh, or a new tooling project, shall we say. So you've probably seen from the actual kind of video or the thumbnail what's going to be happening. What I'm going to just show you what I've got material-wise and then we'll, we'll crack on from there. Right then, so that's my stack of material uh, that we're going to be using, minus the swing arm. So let's have a look at what I've got. The lengths of box section I picked up quite recently, all over the Christmas period. A uh, very reasonable price, so £30 for these three pieces here. So this bit here I've got left over from when I was doing the press build. So I've got a couple of pieces of these left that we're going to use for basically the feet. Um, it is, I believe, 70 by 70 uh, with a wool thickness of about 3 mil. Moving on, I've also got various lengths of threaded bar so a good friend of mine basically gives these to me um loads and loads of them which is fantastic i didn't really know what to do with them but i've got a little project for them now which is fantastic so yeah these are going to come in handy so four co coach bolts so these are going to make up the adjustable feet uh so basically they've gone the concrete section and then i can adjust them and what have you so yeah, four of them, a bit of bar stock, uh, and what I'm going to do with that is basically use that as a bit of a kind of a threaded boss section for the four coach bolts. So I think what I'm going to do to begin with is start on uh, the feet. So kind of like this piece of wood here, I'm going to have two bars that run kind of across the actual kind of frame, front and at the back. So this is what this is going to come in for. So I'm going to cut two sections of this. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is put like a, a bit of a 45 degree cut here. So then I've got access to kind of the threaded feet that are going to go in there as well. A lovely new tool that I've wanted for a while. <clears throat> but uh, I weren't paying the ridiculous prices that people wanted for them. So yes, it's not brand new. It's second hand. It works brilliantly and I don't know what I actually did without it. So it's got a few niggles here and there uh, that I need to kind of address. Nice. Beautiful cut. Right then, I've got my two pieces of material which are going to make up the feet of the frame jig. And now what I'm doing is basically scoring a 45 degree angle on the ends of the feet. Uh, this is going to be cut out on the bandsaw. So this is going to give me access to where I intend to place the adjustable uh, kind of feet location of feet adjustable parts. Right then, over to the bandsaw. What I'm going to do now is basically adjust the vise or the clamping section uh, to cut the material at a 45 degree angle. Now, this is kind of one of the areas that I want to do um, some improvements to the actual kind of vise because all the fixings there are a different size and they're not very easy to get to. So. Yeah, I want to make something that's kind of, I don't know, um, easily adjustable. Now on the side of the bandsaw there is actually a gauge for uh, aligning the actual kind of vise to whatever angle you want to cut. Um, it is however a sticker and I'm not fully confident in its accuracy. So I'm just using the 45 degree uh, angle self with the blade just to kind of measure it up. So this is another thing I want to basically improve on the actual bandsaw itself, but I'll come at a later date. Oh, 
there was a big old spider in there. Ooh, can you see? <laughs> I'll chuck him outside. Right then, so up until this point, the GoPro was doing all right, but for whatever reason, it just decided to shit itself. So everything I recorded up to this point was basically just lost. So I was left with thumbnails, files within the kind of memory card, but there's no footage, which I'm hearing is quite a common problem. Anyhow, uh, what I've done is basically cut uh, the rest of the kind of 45 degree angles, and then I proceeded to mark out and drill pilot holes for where the bungs or bosses would go or be received for the threaded bar. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. You fucking blunt. Tell me this one's not going to go in. Oh, would you fucking believe it? think so just to give you a bit of an idea what was going on there um, which was basically a big old faff um, originally I was going to use the larger drill press to drill out the holes but I wasn't happy the way uh, the vice was mounted on the table because it's not a particularly large table and I don't really use that large drill press press excuse me too much anyway so I moved over to the smaller drill press. Um, my plan was to use that smaller stubby drill bit uh, because it gave me the space to drill out the hole. Uh, but I do know that that drill bit is absolutely pants. Um, it's a cheap drill bit uh, that I got in a set. It never works, doesn't ma matter how many times I sharpen it up, it just never works. So I don't know why I hang on to it, it's just, you know, God knows. Um, and then you can see, obviously, I moved on to the larger drill bit, but I didn't have room to kind of get it into the actual drill. And then even if I reversed the material around, there was not enough length on the quilt to be able to drill the hole out. Mm. Right then, we're going to move on to some machining. So what I'm going to do to begin with is cut a piece of stock in the bandsaw and then we're going to move on to the lathe. Whee. Right then, so moving on to the lathe and I'm going to mount the stock in the three jaw chuck and just clean up that face. So it's got the bandsaw marks uh, where we cut it off. So clean that up so it's nice and tidy. And then because it's looking a bit rusty and nasty, I'm also gonna clean the surface up as well. So we've got something nice to play with to begin with. Now from there, I've drilled out the center section. So this will be for later on when I go to tap the part. Uh, so what I'm doing here is giving it some tail support uh, and then taking the shoulder down. So the shoulder is going down to 18 mil, which is the drill holes that I've placed within the legs. So that boss will fit in there nicely. From this point, took the part over to the bandsaw again, just to kind of cut off the rest of the material. And then I proceeded to tap out the center section. So this is an M10 tap. 
Right then, so that is my parts for this section of the build. So I've got my two pieces of box section, and then I've got my four machined bosses as well. So what I'm doing now is cleaning up the surface of the box section, and then I'm just gonna tack the bosses in place just to hold them, uh, and then I can continue on and welding those in place so they're nice and solid. And then you can see there, I'm basically putting the coach bolts in place I am going to cut them down, so I'm going to make them a little bit smaller, uh, but it's just to give you an idea as to how it's going to work. I'm possibly going to put some handles on them as well, just to make it a little bit easier just to turn or adjust them. They do have a square section towards the bottom of the coach bolt, so I can just adjust them now with a spanner, so it's not an issue for the time being.